today, <laughs> right, today, we fit this kind of stereo, which is a double din radio. I'm not to thrust this out to the side because apparently it looks really funny. So we're going to fit this into the Civic. It uh, has CarPlay on it and Android Auto. Now, we need a handy double din adapter, fascia plate, which is uh, eBay, a few quid. Also, the trim in my Civic, it's got carbon fibre wraps around there, uh, carbon fibre wrap on it. It doesn't look too good, some of it's peeling off. Um, so I'm going to put the original silver ones back in. Uh, which also gets rid of the AC button because my Civic doesn't have aircon, which I didn't realise when I bought it because I seen the button, thought it had aircon, doesn't. Um, not really that bothered, but I am because I'm talking about it, I guess. So we're going to fit that back in, and it's got the silver trim panel, so that should be that. And there's a cat on the floor, so we need some tools. I think so far that now I've need a screwdriver. 14 mil, 10 mil. That's all I know so far. Let's see how far we get. What about your adapters? No, I don't need to talk about the adapters. Oh, I'll talk about the adapters. Adapters. Right now, first thing we need to get, a, get rid of is uh, my little gear stick warmer purchased also off eBay like most things in my life are. This is amazing. I'd recommend one of these. It even says R on it. Now to get the gear knob off, 14 mil spanner. Oops, can we just slacken that nut off? First, I went the wrong way, by the way. And then just wind the gear knob off. What's that? Uh, these cars come with amazing storage pockets all over the place down here. You can tuck anything in you want. So we'll just put all the parts in there, including our can of pop for our journeys. Right, so, Right, once you've removed your gear knob, you need to take this lower part of the panel off, which I found one of these because I was told that we had one, um, and it might make it a little bit easier. It's not going to because it's still too large. So look, they've got a small pack of screwdrivers. Let's try that. I really am going to eBay a trim removal tool tonight and get one of these ordered up because they do come in a lot handier than these little screwdrivers do. But, but there we go. That's that. I'll fire that in as well. I'm not too bothered about this because the, the carbon wrapping on it's pretty sh shocking. So I'm not all that bothered about marking or damaging this one. Right now at the back of here you'll have one plug for your cigarette lighter, which is handily being taped up with something else, which to investigate where that's going to. One for your hazard warning switch. Things are always more difficult when people put pressure on you filming it. But there you go, that's that bit off. Right, next up, there's two screws here, one either side. I had to go and get another screwdriver. I'm just guessing the tools as I go along here, by the way. So remove them. This is not the best screwdriver, but it'll do. Add these to the handy cubby hole down here. This is great, this cubby hole. Brilliant. Luckily, this has all been to bits before, so it should come to bits quite easily. Of course, this screw is now spinning as I say that, just to annoy me. Right, so after a bit of fighting, almost managed to get this screw out. Got that screw out. Sweet. So that's that one out. Now that's all that removes. So that there is taken off this part from this metal plate here. Comes out with that, obviously. Right, so following that, the next thing I know that we need to do is we need to pull these off. These dials just lift off like so. That's them. So we pop them into that little handy storage pocket. And that's that. We now need to find out where this is bolted in on the sides. And then we can carry on with that. Right, after those two bolts, you've got these bolts here. There's one there that the spanner's pointing at, and there's one at the far side there the spanner's pointing at. I thought they were tens, they're not, so do, 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 do. It's an eight mil spanner. Now, you can get these if you just sort of get the ring end on and turn it down. Um, you don't need to actually remove these looking at it. It looks like it slides, so if you just loosen these off enough so they are loose, it should be all right. I'll probably, I'll, I'll leave them in, but we'll see how far we get. It looks like they're just in a little slot, so it shouldn't be a bother. So I'll get these with the 8mm, and then we'll report back. 
Right, so we've loosened those two bolts in there. Um, I didn't take them out because you can see there's a little notch that they just slid into. So the next thing we need to do is, that's all the bolts removed. It's just actually those two screwed there, pretty much. The other two stay in. It's just a case of lifting it and popping it off its clips. It will resist because they do. And you don't want to pull it too hard because there are wires connected in the back of here. And you just want to make sure you get it off nicely. Like that. That is that removed. Now we just need to take all the plugs off. There's obviously going to be plugs behind here, which I think is one big plug, if I remember rightly. Uh, yeah, I can feel it there on my hand. I don't think I'm going to be able to show you behind this because it's probably not going to come far enough forward. Oh, no, it is. It's going to come all the way forward. Okay. Um, yeah, if you can see behind there, can you see? You've got your plugs there. That's for your heater controls. Obviously, your plug for your radio and your aerial, which I'll take out now because that will just give me a little bit more manoeuvre. Like that. And then you should have one big plug at the bottom. Yep, yeah, there it is there, the green one. That there removes that. And that's one of those out. And that's one of those out. Now that there is out. It's done. That's it. Sorted. All removed. I'm going to need this cage for the other panel and then I need to fit the radio. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the radio to the panel inside the house while drinking a cup of tea because it's a bit warm and a bit nicer. That's my idea. And then bring it all back out and fit it back to the car. Uh, yeah, and there you go. That was a quite an easy removal. I'll put that on there just so it looks nice. Sorted, right to the house. I've retired to the house with a cup of tea. Anyway. There's uh, bolts there. There's, there's only three in this. I, I'm imagining there's supposed to be four, but there's only three. So that just holds the radio in. There's a screw there either side, there and there, which holds the pocket in. And if you look down there, you can see the other screws. And that's what's holding the cage into the panel. I'm guessing it holds the radio in as well. So I'll start by removing the two eight. The, the three eight mil, sorry, for the radio first, and then take the screws out. In fact, I don't need to. In fact, if I just take the screws out for the actual cage, it should hopefully take everything out in once in one go because I don't need any of this part. The cage. Oh no, yeah, I'll get the radio undone first. Right, that's the bolts removed. Radio just pops out the front like that. That's that bit done. Now we'll take the cage out the back, which will take out the pocket. It's actually quite heavy that for a radio, I don't know, it's been a while since I've had a car stereo, but hey, there's a cat in the background. Um, yeah, so I'll just get these four screws out and then we can start work on the new panel. I say new panel, it's the original panel. And right, now we've got our cage out, which is there. There's our original panel, I've just noticed it's got a mark on it there, which is a bit rubbish, but I'm sure I can live with that. It looks a lot better than the carbon one anyway. Um, so now I'm going to mount the cage into the back of here and then I'm going to open the box for the new radio and see what parts have came with that and then see where we get to with that. Right, let's do the unboxing. Do you not want to see this? Oh, you want out? You want out, aren't you? There you go. No? Alright, never mind. Right. Box is open, so that'll be a USB cable. Um, yeah, it must be an extender so we can run the USB cable a bit longer. I'm going with microphone. It must be a microphone. That's an antenna. Yep, that must be the dab antenna. A lot of instructions, that's pretty massive. Christ. I might be here all night with that. Uh, and the ISO harness, the most important bit really. Apart from the radio is sort of uh, And then in there we have, there's a surround. I need that. And then, this deep lump, which is the rest of the box actually.
the radio itself. Excellent. Right now, now we need to fit the cage into here. And that's the first task to do. Okay, brilliant. Right, if you can see this lip down here, there where my finger is, this double din cage actually won't fit in because of that lip. So, because I don't really have masses of tools here, I have a file from the 1900s. That I'm going to slowly file that away while drinking a cup of tea until the cage fits in. Filing that off with this, I had a whole cup of tea to do that. It's it's really not the neatest, but to be honest, there's a radio going over it, so it doesn't matter. So now this cage it does fit because I've already had it in. Push it in nice and squarely. I'm a bit worried about the metal cage in the back of it, but we'll see if it'll the radio fits in or not. This is the hardest work I've had to do all weekend. Okay, so in it goes. Cool. Right, we'll bend the tabs over in the cage to secure the cage in place. And now that means that we can slot our radio in till it locks. There you go, like that. We'll get this off now. Probably should take this off already. But... Oh, I might have to take it back out again to get this off. Yeah, I'll have to take it back out again to get that off. Um, right, so that's the radio in, in the cage, and now I'll fit the surround adapter. Let's have a bit of look. Doesn't seem to fit all that good, but... There you go. It's pretty nice looking that actually. Quite happy with that, so... That's that, um, I need to now um, fit the gear gator back to that and then go into the car and attach all the wires. That's that. Just running the GPS antenna wire for the radio, I found this big nappy. I'm assuming it's supposed to be there. Sound dead of some description underneath there, but anyway. There's my little GPS antenna and I've fed the wire all the way around there. And now I'm just going to feed it through there and back into there. Um, we've put the little microphone on there, as you can see. I'm going to take out that little coin holder. I think it's a coin holder. And uh, put the wire in properly at some point. But for now, that's all right. And we've run the USB wire so it comes out down there so that we can connect our uh, Android cable and the Apple cable, the Lightning cable, into there. So once I've finished running this cable, um, we can actually plug, turn it on and see if it works and then after that it's just refitting the trims and that's job done so I'll just run this quickly and then we're done right so we've plugged everything in ran all the wires for everything microphone GPS the whole lot of everything and this is the first switch on that's the windscreen wipers on we have power it says Kenwood well, why won't they switch there we go they switched off right so I don't know what I do here do I press menu we press home. Oh, there we go. Language. Oh, this must be the first setup. Right, so I'll do the language. British English. That's fine with that. Clock. London, Dublin time. Yeah, that's fine. Display. I'll, I'll sort all that out at a later date, hopefully. I don't want the demo on. We'll just say finish because everything looks all right. Operators probably about driving could be distracting or dangerous if not done in a careful manner. I'm going to automatically remove this message after 10 seconds. Agree. And there we go, it's on. It says it's two minutes past eight, and it is actually two minutes past eight. Sweet. The only thing I haven't connected actually is the aerial. Um, that's the only thing that's not connected. But now I'm going to try and connect. We'll try and connect your phone with it with Bluetooth first, shall we? Because then I can film it on here, can I? That's what we'll do. Right, we'll be back in a minute. Yes, yeah, so with a bit more force, we've managed to put it back in. That now leaves us just with these two screws here to put back in. Oh, rubbish. I've actually done this wrong because I haven't plugged any of the plugs back in for the back of it. So I'm going to have to read. Yeah, I've just noticed in there. 
oops right removal if i watch my own video back i'll remember how to do it won't i that's quite useful i filmed it what an idiot right so we have actually put the plugs back on this time now all we need to do is screw these in and then reattach the plugs for the gear gate a bit reattach the gear knob and then we can start setting phones up with bluetooth and stuff it shouldn't take us two minutes we're quite good with technology aren't we honest oh yeah honest i wish i'd got a better screwdriver when i went to get one but never mind don't really like this one it smells funny spot on right uh, which way did these heater controls go Kevin? which one was off which i don't think they matters does it doesn't look like it matters they're all the same we'll just take a gamble i know that that one was fitted to there because that's why i always have that this one was on cold yeah and that one was probably about there wasn't it that looks about right doesn't it I'll do yeah I'll do. right cool that plug on there that plug onto there get that into there that should just push its way back in like that that's that done what happened to the uh, cigarette lighter there it is I don't use them but I just like it to be there we'll have to see if they make a posh blanket that says Honda or something smart on it and that wants to go upside down. Let's put that down as far as it will go. And then find this on, and then the 14 mil is on your stand. So I'll reach across and grab that. Line it up straight. And then I'm going to nip it up. Job done. Still a hat. Oh yeah, where's my hat gone? There it is. Boom. Right, well, we've paired Hells's phone. Um, I don't really know how to use this buttons on here yet. I haven't quite got used to the menus, obviously. But if we click on there, sweet. I, I can't play the music. For, oh, no, no, no. I can't play the music for uh, copyright reasons, unfortunately. There you go, that all works. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what other features we can do off this because I haven't really had a look, but it might do other stuff that we don't know about. You can you can do standby, that's cool. Um, I haven't connected that yet. Um, I haven't got anything connected by USB. But yeah, the Bluetooth works perfectly. It's pretty good. Um, can I... I don't know if I can see a list of artists or anything, can I? Or is it just going to play whatever you are playing? It might just... I don't know. We'll have to look into this. We don't really know what we're doing yet, do we? We're just making it up. Um, but yeah, that works. Works really well. The menus are really fast, which was one of the reasons why I picked this over the other radios I was looking at. So, so far, quite happy with that. And I think it looks great.